Okay, so now will be a good time to max out Lad's overall health if you haven't done so. Just pick an area where there's an endless amount of soldiers. I went with area one. Once you get eight units of health, you are fully maxed out. Now let's head for the last area of the game. At area 12, make sure to have the yellow communicator equipped. This is the final level of the game. Now let's stop the albatross. From the start, take the elevator down, then proceed to the door on the left. In here, we need to make our way down. Make sure to do so when the electrical current is out of the way and is safe. When you reach the door, go inside. In this room, use the spring then grapple the bottom of the platform. Now take out the core. Now let's go back to the previous room. Now continue to go down while making sure to avoid the electrical current. When you reach the door, go inside. Take out all enemies in your path as you proceed to the right. When you reach the end, take the second elevator down. Now take the first door on the right. In this room, we have to make our way down while avoiding the electrical current. Also, be mindful of the rolling ball as it can throw you off. Don't go in the first door since that room is unnecessary. We need to make our way to the door at the bottom. In this room, take out the second core. Make sure to use the springs again and try to avoid the paratroopers. Head back to the previous room. Now grapple upwards all the way until you reach the door you first entered from. Now ride the elevator all the way down and head to the left. With both cores destroyed, we can reach the last boss of the game. Ride the last elevator down, then go to the right. We have to swing over the bed of spikes in this corridor. When you reach the end, go through the door. Remember Mr. Kilt? I believe we first seen him in Area 15. So apparently, he and his army have this bogus plan to bring back a dead chancellor for the sake of world domination. From my understanding, only Master D have the ability to operate the Albatross. But Master D's revival and who he really is, is quite sinister indeed. That right folks, Master D is none other than Adolf Hitler. I mean, I would rather take my chances against a zombie apocalypse than with him alive in the world again. Well, it's up to us to stop this guy once and for all and put an end to this albatross nonsense. The albatross isn't really hard, but you have to have patience. To beat it, grapple up on the platform near the front of the machine. Now wait for it to move forward. When it does, swing from this position. Now release and grapple up here. Now shoot at its core. This is the only way to harm it. You have to be mindful of the afterburners since it can harm you. To be honest, 
This recording is my second time defeating this boss, and I'm happy I could share the battle. With the albatross out of the way, we need to make our way to the right. Speak with the NPC. He's going to give you a bazooka and instruct you to shoot it in Master D's cockpit. Yes, got him. Now here's the last section of the game. We have to use our grappling hook to climb and make our escape. We only have 60 seconds to do so. When you get to the section with a giant soldier, my advice is to either bounce off of him to gain the height that is needed to make the escape, or do a long swing to the right, then grapple up to make the escape. Either way works, but the long swing is a bit harder to pull off. And with that being said, this is the end of Bionic Commando for the NES. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoy editing. Lab prevailed at the end, Super Joe was rescued, and Master D gained the ultimate defeat. Once again, I'm Dad Mishima. See you next game. <laughs>